Hey guys, welcome to Ziggy Asa of Science. Today we are going to discuss 25 objective type questions for the subject electrical estimating and costing. These questions are very important for SSC J, UPPCL J, RV UNL J, BMC J, RRB, DSSSB, LMRC, DMRC, etc. examination. So without skipping, watch the video till the end. And before starting, those who are new, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Let's start from the first question. Which type of cable is used for underground service connections? Option A, low tension 3 one fourth core cable, B, low tension 3 one second core cable, C, low tension to one port core cable the low tension to one second core cable so the correct answer is low tension three one second core cable so the next question what is the formula to calculate the number of poles required in LT line distribution option a length power span plus one b length power span plus ten c span power length plus one the span per length plus 10 and the correct answer is length per span plus 1 so the next question what should be the height of the rope pole option a less than 5 meter b less than 3 meter c more than 3 meter d more than 10 meter and the correct answer is less than 3 meter so next question what is the multiplication factor used for the determination of maximum current carrying capacity of an 11 kV line? Option A 0.88, B 0.95, C 0.9, D 0.8. The correct answer is 0.9. So the next question. What should be the minimum clearance for line power cable near communication line? Option A. 0.2 meter horizontally and vertically, B 0.6 meter horizontally and vertically, <coughs> C 1 meter horizontally and vertically, D 1.5 meter horizontally and vertically. And the correct answer is 0.6 meter horizontally and vertically. The next question Which test is or are conducted after completion of erection of 11 kV line but before energization of lines? Option A conductor continuity test, B art resistance test, C insulation resistance test, D both A and C, E all of these. And the correct answer is all of these. So the next question What should be the minimum insulation resistance of a 11 kV line when tested with 1000 volt mega? Option A 10 kV, B 50 kV, C 33 kV, D 120 kV. And the correct answer is 50 kV. So the next question. What is the empirical formula employed for the determination of spacing of conductor in case of aluminum conductor? Option A root S plus B by 100, B root S plus 120 by V, C root S plus B by 150, D root S plus B by 1 kV. And the correct answer is root s plus b by 150 so the next question what is the angle between the pole and stay option a 30 degree b 45 degree c 60 degree d 10 degree and the correct answer is 30 degree so the next question what should be the spacing between the two conductors if the working voltage is 11 kv option a 76 mm b 101 mm c 190 mm b 250 mm and the correct answer is 101 mm so the next question what are the minimum cross sections of conductor that are used for power wiring option a 2.5 millimeter square and 1.25 millimeter square for aluminium and copper conductors respectively B 1.25 mm square and 2.5 mm square for aluminum and copper conductor respectively C 1.5 mm square and 
1.25 mm square for aluminum and copper conductors respectively the 2.5 mm square and 2.25 mm square for aluminum and copper conductors respectively and the correct answer is 2.5 mm square and 1.25 mm square for aluminum and copper conductors respectively so the next question how many art connections are required for the motor frame as per the IE rule 61? Option A 1, B 2 separate and distinct, C 3 separate and distinct, D all of this, E none of this. And the correct answer is 2 separate and distinct. So the next question What is the input current of a 2 horsepower single phase motor? 240 volt at 70% efficiency and 0.8 power factor. Option A 6.95 ampere, B 10.95 ampere, C 13.52 ampere, D 17.68 ampere. And the correct answer is 10.95 ampere. So the next question Which starter is used for slip ring induction motors of high ratings? Option A DOL starter, B rotor resistance starter, C auto transformer starter, D all of this, E none of this. And the correct answer is rotor resistance starter. So the next question What is the size of the cable made up of copper conductors used for a 10 or his horsepower 500 volt DC motor? Option A 7 by 0.915 mm B 1 by 2.8 mm C 10 3 by 0.915 mm D both B and C and the correct answer is 7 by 0.915 mm so the next question what will be the utilization factor of for an indirect lighting scheme option A 0.252 0.5 B 0.5 to 0 0.75 C 0 0.1 to 2.25 D 0.75 to 0 0.99 and the correct answer is 0 0.1 to 0 0.25 so the next question which method is used for the lighting calculator calculations Option A, Watts per square meter method, B, lumen or light flux method, C, point to point method, D, all of this. And the correct answer is all of this. Next question, what is the normal life of a fluorescent lamp? Option A, 2000 hours, B, 3500 hours, C, 7500 hours, D, 10,000 hours. And the correct answer is 7500 hours next question how is the blast resistance connected with the soap option a parallel b series c can be connected in either way d both a and b the correct answer is series next question which lamp is used in the outdoor illumination of buildings and airport runway Option A, halogen lamp, B, gaseous discharge lamp, C, sodium vapor lamp, D, all of these. And the correct answer is halogen lamp. So the next question, what is the maximum load that is permitted in a power circuit? Option A, 5000 watts, B, 3000 watts, C, 2000 watts, D, 10,000 watts. And the correct answer is 3000 watts. Next question, which among these tests are to be conducted on wiring installations? Option A, testing of polarity of non-linked single pole switches, B, testing of art continuity path, C, testing of art resistance, D, all of these. And the correct answer is all of these. So the next question, if the measured insulation value is more than unity, unity what value should be taken as the maximum working value option a 0.75 million b 1 million c 0.5 million d 1 ohm and the correct answer is 
one ohm. So the next question: What is the reason for excess reading of the energy meter? Option A: Defective wiring. B: Meter defect. C: Over voltage. D: Both A and B. And the correct answer is both A and B. Defective wiring and meter defects. So the next question. How many outlets are permitted in a power circuit? Option A: 10 points. B: 5 points. C: 2 points. D: 1 points. And the correct answer is 2 points. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share the video with your friends. If you have any queries, please let me know in the comment section. See you till the next time. Jai Hind. Bye.